one beautiful scene at Ingala to another beautiful scene here at Ambion Pinda Private Game Reserve. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found one of the smallest rhinos I have ever seen as a guide. Now, you might not be able to see it at the moment. So, oh, there we go. You could get a view. Look at that tiny little rhino. It basically looks like a warthog running with them. So you've got a, a female and what is potentially her old calf and her brand new born calf. You'll notice that her tail is up and curled at the moment. That is a sign that she's uneasy. And one could be because she's got her calf, but it is also that there was a large male busy harassing her maybe only two minutes ago. So they're trying to busy, they're trying to get away from that male at the moment. This is amazing. All I could see right now is the ears of that calf running through the grass. It almost looks like there's a rabbit with those long ears. So for those of you who um, have just joined and, and potentially this being the first time. We are more than happy to film rhinos. It is something that we have been doing for a couple of years where we have been taking photos and filming and, and putting it up on social media. So it is nothing new for us. And the reason why we are happy to film the rhinos here is that these rhinos are extremely safe. And they're safe for three reasons. One, we have a very good relationship with the community. And so they don't come and poach here. And if there are any poachers coming to the reserve, they let us know. Number two, we've got an excellent anti-poaching team. But oh, you see, she's busy chasing. That's her old calf. And that's how I know it's her old calf. She's not happy to have her old calf following her. So around the time that she gives birth, she will be kicking her old calf out um, because that calf could potentially pose some danger towards her young calf. Anyway, and back to why we can film them. And three, and probably most importantly, is that you may have noticed that none of these rhinos had their horn and we dehorn our rhinos. Now, this might seem interesting for some of you. And um, it is actually a process that is not harmful to the rhino at all. It is basically like you taking uh, nail clippers and cutting your fingernails off. Um, it doesn't harm the rhino. We, we, we cut them at about a couple of inches from the base of the face. So there's no cuticle. And we just trim that horn off. And um, what we would use is we have a vet. He comes in, darts the rhino, sedates it, cuts the horn off. The rhino wakes up a couple of minutes later. And I promise you, it wakes up like nothing happened. They'll go straight to feeding within five, ten minutes of waking up, sometimes even sooner than that. And now that we've removed the horn, it has lowered the value of this rhino for poachers. So poachers do not come to Ambion Pinda anymore to poach for the rhino horn. And that is exactly why we are happy to film them. And I'm excited to film them because now I can educate all of you back home. And I'm sure, just like all the kiddies are excited, about seeing this little rhino calf, I am just as excited. It is not something we see very often. How fantastic is this light at the moment? We've got these big gray skinned animals contrasting to the yellow and golden light that is coming off on the top of the grass. <laughs> I can just see the calf again. Oh, my day has been made. It is a pretty cold morning here, um, but this little calf that we have has most certainly warmed up my morning and I am in fact feeling warmer just from all the excitement that I have. You'll notice that this older calf is trailing from about 20 to 30 meters behind and that is very typical. If it gets too close to the mother and the calf she's going to turn around and she's going to chase it away and although I, in some ways I hope that we don't see it it is just interesting behavior and they make quite a strange sound when they do that. They go so that was an <laughs> that was an absolutely terrible impression of a rhino trying to chase away another rhino. I have